Before we get into this video, I want to say that this video is sponsored by Sewet Cookware. They sent me their 11 piece of stainless steel pots and pans. This cookware set is made of 18 over 10 stainless steel with a tri-ply base. The heavy bottom is impact bonded with encapsulated aluminum core and magnetic stainless steel to effectively eliminate hot spots for even heating. It has cast stainless steel handles that are dual riveted to the pans that ensure a stay cool gripping with enhanced durability. It comes with tempered glass lids with a steam vent, which makes it convenient to monitor the cooking progress and prevent liquid from boiling over. The flared rims of this cookware makes pouring easy without dripping. Notice the interior volume marks, which makes it convenient to measure in quarts and liters. The pots and pans along with the lids are oven safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The steamer insert allows you to steam vegetables, fish, meat, seafood, eggs, and other foods without losing nutrients. So if you're looking for a new set of quality pots and pans, consider Sewet. The information is in the video description below. Let's get on to the video. What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli and we got another easy and delicious recipe for you guys today. I know the cold is upon us, especially in certain parts of the country, so it's time for those soup recipes to come out. Now I know you guys in the South, you still got about another month or two, but my people up North, they about to experience that cold weather. So I got this amazing, cheeseburger soup recipe guys you're gonna love it so i hope you're in your kitchen i'm already in mine so let's go all right so here are the ingredients we're going to use for today's recipe let me tell you what we have here so right here we have some black pepper some dried basil some dried parsley flakes right here we have some whole milk some salt all-purpose white flour, our ground beef, an onion. Now, I have a red onion. You can use a sweet onion if you want to. I don't have any of those, but I'm gonna just use a red onion. Butter, celery, a potato, a carrot, some Velveeta cheese, chicken broth, and uh, some sour cream. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've measured out our ingredients. Let me tell you what we have here. So back here, I have our potatoes. What I did was I diced them up right here. As you can see, I diced them up into cubes. I have about four cups of potatoes. Right here, I had three-fourths of a pound of ground beef, three cups of chicken broth, a cup and a half of milk, have three-fourths cups of shredded carrots, 12 ounces of that Velveeta cheese, a fourth of a cup of flour. Right here, I've already chopped up my onions. This is three-fourths cups of chopped onions and I have three fourths cups of sliced celery. I already did this. I kind of uh, did this last night and had it already in, uh, ready to go. Right here, I have a fourth of a cup of sour cream, I have half a teaspoon of pepper, so a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of basil, and four tablespoons of butter. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started or continue. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our pot. I have a six quart pot here. This is my Sewet pot. Guys, it's stainless steel, guys. This pot is amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this on and we're going to brown our ground beef first. What I'm doing, I'm just gonna drop it in here, get that temperature going. Guys, if you want to salt this with a little salt, not the salt that we measured out, but just a little salt, we're going to use that other salt we measured out later on in the recipe. So you use a little salt, and me, I'm going to use a little pepper too, just to give it a little flavor. All right, guys, so it looks like we're there. So I'm going to uh, pause our heat, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, drain our beef and I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna come back with this same pot. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back and we're gonna use the same pot. If you have a little ground beef in there, don't worry about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of butter. Next, we're gonna add our celery. Next, our onions and our carrots. And we're gonna add our parsley and our basil. And we're gonna saute these babies for about 10 minutes. What you want to make sure is that the, your, your veggies are softened. So give it about seven to 10 minutes. 
All right, so we're about 10 minutes in. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our potatoes. We're gonna add our broth. And remember this is three cups of broth. And we're gonna bring our ground beef back into the mix. And we're gonna add that back to the pot. And we're going to get this all mixed in. And we're gonna bring our temperature up because we want this to start boiling. All right, so it looks like we have come to a, a slight boil. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our heat down just to a simmer. And we're going to let this cook for about, about 15 minutes until our uh, potatoes are tender. Depending on how hot you got your fire or your heat up, depends on how quick this happens. But we're going to do about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're about 10 minutes into the cooking process of the soup. But I moved it over to my stove because the last, the remaining five minutes, we need to go ahead and start preparing some other um, ingredients to add to our soup. So what I'm gonna do is I got our suete pan, stainless steel, guys, take a look at that. Man, I tell you, life cooking. Stainless steel, this is the smaller pan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to melt the remaining butter that we had in there. Once the butter has melted, what you wanna do is you wanna add your flour and we're gonna cook this for about, about three to five minutes. Make sure your heat is on low. You wanna make sure you, you, know, you continue to move it around because you don't want it to, to burn. All right, guys, so we're about three minutes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this from, let me pause it. I'm gonna remove it from our fire, our heat. I'm gonna bring our soup mixture back over and I'm gonna add this to our soup mixture. And we're just gonna stir this in those potatoes are tender if you have to test them out feel free to go ahead and test them out before you add them back over all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to drop our heat to low and now what we're going to do is we're going to add our milk remember that's one and a half cups we'll add our pepper that's half a teaspoon and our teaspoon of salt and we're also going to add our cheese that's 12 ounces and we're just gonna let that cook on low and let that cheese melt in, in there. Get all that, get it all combined. All right, guys, it looks like we are there. Take a look at this right here. Ooh, man. And it smells so, so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this, turn the heat off, and I'm going to put this in a bowl and we're gonna get over to quality control, actually get into our final presentation, then into quality control. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you know, even though we know this is a cheeseburger soup, I'm still gonna sprinkle it with a little bacon pieces. You can make it a little bacon cheeseburger soup if you want to, it's totally up to you. And then I'm gonna add some little green onions on the top of it like that too. Now take a look at that. And there you have it, cheeseburger soup. Now, if you want to call it bacon cheeseburger, you can, because I did sprinkle a little bacon on it, but you don't really have to do that. That is optional. Me, I love bacon. So bacon and cheese, oh man, always goes good together. So, um, but this is what we have is this cheeseburger soup, guys. Man, I'm telling you, it smells delicious. I know, let me tell you something. It tastes delicious. I had to take a little taste test. I didn't add anything else besides the regular salt and pepper that I had in this recipe and it was perfect. So guys, the measurements and ingredients are all in the video description below. So go ahead, check that out. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Pick up that ebook. Let's go ahead and get into quality control guys because I'm ready to eat. All right, let's go. All right, so now the best part of the show, that's quality control, man. So take a look at what we got. We got our soup. I add a little bit more bacon to it because guys, you know I like that bacon. Yes, sir, I am a swine eater. But we're gonna, oh man. This thing, look at that, it's piping hot. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let's go ahead and give it a taste test. It's hot, so I gotta be careful. Mmm. This is on the money. The seasoning is perfect. You don't have to go crazy. All you need is salt and pepper, and it does the trick. This is good. I wouldn't add anything else to it. Now, 
I know some of you guys that live in the South, you be saying, well, man, it ain't that cold here yet for no soup. Yeah, I know, but I got some, some folks up in North, too, that is already cold, so they need some of that soup. So keep it tucked away to November, December, January, because you're going to need it. It's going to get cold, and you're going to need some of this cheeseburger soup. So, guys, get that ebook. I appreciate the support. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Yes, this is always everything. And I am out. Peace.